Hey guys, and welcome to this month's episode of Gumplin News. As usual, we're just going to be breaking it into five parts. There's the just kind of news and everything related to Gundam and Gumpla, the new announcements, which we have quite a lot of this month, and the updates, which of course there's quite a lot about those as well. Uh, that's stuff that we already knew was coming out, but just some updates on that stuff. And then there's going to be a little bit about some third-party and resin kits. And then finally, a fifth part about some featured artists. So featured artists is uh, pretty cool this month, so definitely make sure you stick around and watch all the parts. Now, those five parts are going to be separated into five different videos. So if there's uh, only some parts that you're interested in watching, you are going to be able to just watch whichever parts you want. Or if you want to watch the whole thing, you can watch it all as a playlist. Uh, the videos will be uploaded separately, of course. A uh, little bit of time in between to just let me edit and upload those as soon as I can. But um, then if you just want to wait till they're all uploaded, then that way you can watch them all as a playlist. Um, might be better for you, whatever you want to do. So anyway, uh, let's get it started with the news. The first couple of news points are just kind of related to me, so excuse me about that. Uh, the first one being that I passed 5,000 subscribers, so thank you once again for that. I made a video, I'll put a link for it right here, and uh, just check out that video if you haven't yet. Uh, I announced a giveaway that I'm going to be doing since it's 5,000 subscribers. I'm going to be giving away five different kits for that, so uh, that's pretty cool. There's going to be a few different ways to enter, so just make sure you check out that video. It has all the information on that. Is that I just want to say a huge thank you to like the overwhelming response that I've had already from you guys. Uh, I've gotten loads of comments on that video. Of course, commenting on that video was one way to enter the contest, but uh, just the comments from you guys are just amazing, so I just want to say thank you guys so much. The pictures that I've got from you guys on the Facebook page are awesome too. Uh, one thing that's really awesome for me is just like seeing these pictures coming from all over the world. There have been people from like every continent, Australia, North America, South America, Europe, Asia, and uh, where else? I don't know, all over the place, the Middle East, Africa, it's crazy, so that's really cool, it's really great to uh, just see Gunpla coming from all over the world, so thank you guys so much for that, it's really cool, I'm really excited to uh, do that giveaway, so once again, the deadline for the giveaway is June 16th, so you still have uh, some time for that, so don't worry. The second point that I want to talk about is Gunpla Talk. Uh, that's the kind of live hangout that we're doing with me and a few other guys, that's, uh, it used to be known as the Gumpla Hangout, where they were doing it with a larger number of people, and now we've kind of reformatted it a little bit, reworked it, and just kind of made it just a, a set kind of team of us that are going to be doing it once a month. So it's me, and it's uh, Jim over at Gumpla Fixation, it's Simon at Gundam UK, it's Justin at Justinius Builds, and Tim at ChildofMecca.com. I talked about this in the last uh, month's episode, I think, and I just want to mention it again, just in case uh, some of you guys missed it or you've missed the first two Gumpla Talks that we've done so far. The third one is going to be later this month in June, uh, and I think we're going to be talking about photography in this month's episode, if I remember correctly, so definitely make sure to check that out. Uh, it's a lot of fun doing it. We just talk about everything, what we're currently working on, um, just whatever kind of news stuff is around, and then we'll have like a main topic as well, and it's pretty cool. So we do that for two hours. It's usually on a Saturday evening uh, in American, like New York time. So it's Sunday morning for me, but so just depending on where you are in the world, it'd be a little bit different. But you can watch it live, or you can, if you missed it live, you can always watch it uh, just on Jim's channel, Gunpla Fixation. You can catch it there, so definitely make sure to check that out. All right, now getting into some other Gundam news. Uh, the Shars Counterattack Beltorchka's Children, Volume 2, is a manga. Uh, the second volume of the manga is out, and it comes with a free poster, so that's really cool. Here's a look at the poster there. Uh, it's out in Japan for 600 yen, but sadly, I guess you can only get the poster in Japan. I'm not sure if there's any online sellers that are going to be selling it with the poster. Probably eBay or something like that. You can probably get it if you want, but I just thought that's pretty cool if there's... Uh, people that are really huge fans of Char's Counter-Attack, that might be like something that you want to seek out. One thing that's cool about it for me is that it features the Psycho Gyarados here on the side, uh, and that's a really, really cool design, something that I'd really love to see in a kit form. Uh, possibly RE, I mean, we've got the high new Verka came out last year, 
the Nightingale came out last year. We've already got the Garadoga. Uh, it would be really cool to have a Psycho Garadoga kit. Probably an RE, but I don't know, Master Grade could be cool too. For anyone who might not know what the Psycho Garadoga is, it's basically just in this version of the Shars Counterattack story, it's just a different version from the movie version. And in this version, it's kind of the replacement of the Yakadoga that was in the movie. So it just kind of fills that role of the story. Next, uh, the Art of Gundam exhibition is going on in Roppongi in Tokyo. If you don't know anything about the Roppongi district, it's basically like famous for being like a big nightlife district. But uh, the Art of Gundam exhibition is there. There's a lot of really cool art and stuff on display there, of course. But, uh, of course, they're also going to be selling some kits as well. So, um, first of all, the exhibition is going to be going from July 18th to September 27th. There's four um, special kits going to be sold there. They're all in sort of a clear color version. So, number one, we've got the Master Grade Unicorn Gundam. Uh, that's also coming with the green psycho frame in clear color. And that's 5,400 yen. Then there's the Master Grade Wing Gundam Zero. Proto Zero in clear color as well for 5,200 yen. That's the cheapest of the four, by the way. Then there's the Master Grade Astray Red Frame. This is the most expensive because not only is the armor uh, clear color, but also the frame is plated. So uh, all the red frame is all plated. So that's going to be 7,500 yen, quite expensive. And then the last one is the Master Grade Double O Riser for 7,100 yen. It's just a little bit cheaper than the Astray, uh, but no plating on that. It's all just clear color, I believe, so I guess just because it's a large kit. Next point of news is not something that's really all that exciting for me, but it might be for some of you SD fans, is that they're starting a new SD line called uh, SD Gundam X Standard. Now, Basically what it looks like that they're doing is taking like SDs and trying to make them, number one, more articulated so you're able to actually do a little bit more posing and articulation with the SD kits. And number two is I guess where the standard comes in is that they're trying to make it so that the weapons are compatible with uh, some of the newer high grade kits I guess. I don't know if it's only going to be like on the revive kits or what they're going to exactly be compatible with. But uh, just from this image here, we can see that that's something that they're trying to do. I don't know all the details about that yet, though. So, uh, again, the initial lineup that they're going with, the first four kits that we have announced in that line are number one, the RX-78-2 Gundam, number two, the Ale Strike Gundam, number three, the Wing Gundam Zero EW, and number four is the Gundam Exia. So, pretty much like their top four like most famous Gundams, basically. And then uh, they do have some silhouettes of the next four in the lineup, although the silhouettes are very easy to make out. So those four are the Unicorn Gundam, the Strike Gundam, the Astray Red Frame, and the Double O Riser. So those are going to be numbers five through eight, probably, unless they decide to change that between now and then. Those look pretty cool, but again, if you're a fan of SD. And the last point of news is not really all that much news, it is just kind of a, a warning of what's coming up in the next video, is that uh, we had the Shizuoka Hobby Show as well as the Tamashi Nation's uh, Summer Collection. Uh, those are both kind of big shows for stuff. Of course, the Shizuoka Hobby Show is for mostly uh, models and stuff like that, not only Gundam, but other things as well. And of course, the Tamashi Nation's Summer Collection is going to be featuring a lot of the latest in the... Tamashi, of course, like Robot Damashi and stuff like that. Uh, new figures. So both of those had tons of new announcements. So that means that in the next video, the next part of this episode of Gunpla News, in the uh, new announcements, we've got a lot of stuff to look at. So that is it for the news section. Thanks, guys, for watching. Stick around. In the next section, we'll be talking about the new announcements. So I'll see you then.